Hello there, and today I'm going to show you my method, my new method of spin of the pike. Right, usually you'd have, well, there's, well, 15 pound model braid line on, uh, and then wire trace, 55 pound taking strain, I've just done the everyday knot on that. And that would be your setup, you'd stick that through the wall so you'd have. But today, now, Bubble float, right, it's a bit too far up. Can I show you? Get that there. Right. The idea of bubble float is I've caught fish up to 20 pound on the setup. Basically, when it's in the water, it's a um, really just stick it along like that. Just going in. So when you feel the fish talk, bang, you hit it. And that works well, apart from them little things that just knock on it. Well, it could be big fish that just knock on the line, and on the law, and miss it completely. If your line's not in the same height at that time, you could just about miss it. So, what I've done, I've tried this about, first about four or five years ago. I just put a little tiny bubble float onto my line, just I was thinking I had it in the bag at the time and I just noticed them little knocks that we got, them little knocks that we got, the float was going under when we got them little knocks. So I realised, I thought I'd creep that on and I knew when that float went, it come back off almost instantly, when that float went I knew there was a pike on my line. And that was the pike was going for it. So I could get ready for when the pike does actually go bang. Hits it straight away. The second it hits it, that's it. And I realised almost straight away that my fit, my catch increased dramatically when using this bubble float. So it's just my little setup. I'll show you what. It's so good, this setup. I've just got wire trace, 15 pound mono line. Little bubble clothes, then I've got Mitchell, what's the challenge prep in the I think. And I've just got Shakespeare dual handle reel, and this, I think this down to the canal. I think this down to the canal. I'll go on to there. It's only about, so I think it's a 10 foot, no, 7 foot long thing. There you go. That's why not. There we go. My nice setup on that will catch a pipe. We're going to do another video soon of me catching a big pipe with this.